everybody oh welcome to tutorial number three in programming in the Turing language last time we got into user input and variables so now we're going to be making a basic calculator and we're going to use all the concepts we use we're going to use put get and var so now for a calculator we're going to we want them to input um two numbers so var x and what i didn't teach you about variables is if you put another comma you can put in another variable name but they had to be of the same type so both of them are now integers so i just made two variables easy it would be easier than doing var x int and then var y int instead of listing them all so that's a good thing that you should know okay so I just made two variables. Let's change this to num1 and let's say to num2 and let's put um answer. So we say put enter your two numbers. So remember the prompt, always put a prompt so the user knows what um what to input now another thing about the put statement if you put two dots after when you put something else it appears on the same line so you want to get something but instead of being on a different line so let me show you this so once I run this program oh, okay let's wait for it to load and it says put into two numbers and you see it's on a new line it's not up here it appears there so if we want it, the, uh, it to appear there then we do this so we put two dots and when, we, when I run this again it appears on this line so we'll enter the number and we'll put it there okay so enter your two numbers get num1 and and we put enter number 2 and get num2 and so we got both numbers now we're gonna add them together so then we're gonna put put num1 plus num2 or let's do it like this the sum of your numbers is and then we're going to put a comma num1 plus num2 so let's run this program with f1 so you enter two numbers so enter number one so four and I click enter then I enter number five then click enter some of your two numbers is nine and I probably put a colon and a space so as you notice in my put statement I put num1 plus num2 so I added them together another thing as you notice my variable answer maybe I should oh no yeah I forgot results of function so answer so instead of doing num1 plus num2 I'll take my answer variable I'll put answer and to do equals is colon equals if you're setting a value to it and you're putting equals in it then you have to put colon equals num1 plus num2 so basically the values of these added together is stored in the variable answer so instead of putting num1 plus num2 just put answer click F1 to run this program enter your two numbers 7, 8, some of your numbers is 15. So, wasn't that kind of neat? So, then now you know how to basically use variables, how to use them together. So, I hope you like this tutorial and there'll be more stuff later. Thanks and bye.